I mean, I suppose some would say that it's gone backwards and forwards from an elected chamber to one with bishops and peers and lords who are not elected. It's sort of time that on your side you said, OK, the elected chamber has to prevail. Yeah, I mean, the, the purpose of the House of Lords uh, isn't uh, to block government legislation, but to try and improve it. Um, so uh, our purpose is, is, isn't to prevent policy being implemented, but to scrutinise it carefully, uh, to revise and to suggest alternatives. Uh, and we'll, we'll do that while we think that's the, 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 the right path to take. Um, there will come a time, obviously, when um, the, will, the bill will reach a certain stage and then um, it, it will become law under the government's, uh, government's policy. They don't have a lot of time, as I understand it, though. Really, they've got, they've got to get it done and dusted this week before, before recess. Yes, obviously, that's my understanding that the government are, are, are keen to, to get it through before recess, uh, which is why the, the House of Lords certainly will be sitting very late tonight uh, to deal with whatever comes back from the Commons. Mm. What's your view of the um, the barge, though, the Bibby Stock Con? So this barge is designed to uh, house migrants. It's been had a few border delays, but is finally going to be arriving in, in Dorset. Do you, see, do you see that as a very legitimate way of accommodating people who've arrived in the UK and whose applications to stay need to, stay need to be processed? <laughs> I suppose my difficulty is that I, I don't see that the barge or indeed a number of other proposals are um, acceptable long-term solutions to the problem, um, which is why, for example, the Archbishop of Canterbury has been um, calling, he's had an amendment in for a long-term 10-year strategy uh, that will... Uh, 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 aim is to bring people together so that there is global cooperation around, around solutions that are um, satisfactory long term, as well as solutions that recognise the kind of dignity of individuals. So, uh, I mean, I, I don't agree that the barge is uh, a dignified way to deal with people, but it, it, even if it were, uh, I don't think that it's going to provide uh, an acceptable long term solution. Gurley Francis Takani, Bishop of Chelmsford, uh, thanks for talking to us on PM.